Injury Prevention The objective of this course is to increase employees' awareness of injury risks encountered daily in the work environment and provide the tools and techniques necessary to avoid these injuries. Module 1 Introduction and Body Mechanics By the end of this module, you will have good understanding of hazards and risk and human body mechanics. Benefits The benefits from this lecture is to increase hazard awareness. Be stronger and more in control as we work. Work safer, smarter, and with less strain by eliminating risks. Protect yourself and others through positive intervention. Prevent injury by understanding body mechanics and how injuries occur. Better perform activities at work, home, and leisure to help strengthen safety culture on a daily basis. Hazard and Risk The hazard is any object, physical condition, or physical effect which has a potential to cause a loss. The risk is the combination of a hazard and activity. For example, the snake is a hazard. When combined with the activity of playing with the snake, it will create the risk of a snake bite. Risk and Injury The major risk profile in the oil and gas industry is related to personnel. The main personnel injuries are related to handling, stepping, and lifting. Human Body To appreciate and have awareness of injury risks, you have to have a basic understanding of your body mechanics, such as how we move and exert force on things around us. This includes articulation and joints, muscles, tendons and ligaments, spine and nerves. Body Mechanics The skeleton is the internal frame of the human body. It is composed of around 270 bones at birth. This total decreases to around 206 bones by adulthood after some bones get fused together. The bone mass in the skeleton makes up about 14% of the total body weight, equivalent to 10 or 11 kilograms for an average person, and reaches maximum mass between the ages of 25 and 30. The human skeleton can be divided into the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is formed by the vertebral column, the rib cage, the skull, and other associated bones. The appendicular skeleton, which is attached to the axial skeleton, is formed by the shoulder girdle, the pelvic girdle and the bones of the upper and lower limbs. The human skeleton performs six major functions, support, movement, protection, production of blood cells, storage of minerals, and endocrine regulation. A joint or articulation, or articular surface, is the connection made between bones or other hard structures in the body which link a human skeletal system into a functional whole. They are constructed to allow for different degrees and types of movement. Some joints, such as the knee, elbow, and shoulder, are self-lubricating, almost frictionless, and are able to withstand compression and maintain heavy loads while still executing smooth and precise movements. Other joints such as sutures between the bones of the skull permit very little movement, only during birth, in order to protect the brain and the sense organs. The connection between a tooth and the jawbone is also called a joint, and is described as a fibrous joint known as a gomphosis. Joints are classified both structurally and functionally. Articulation the hip joint is a ball and socket synovial joint formed by the articulation of the rounded head of the femur and the cup-like acetabulum of the pelvis. It allows for a wide range of movement and stability in the lower body. Both joint surfaces are covered with a strong but lubricated layer called articular hyaline cartilage. The elbow is the region between the arm and the forearm that surrounds the elbow joint. The elbow joint is a hinged joint between the arm and the forearm, it is a basic articulation which allows the forearm and hand to be moved towards and away from the body. The elbow joint has three different portions surrounded by a common joint capsule. These are joints between the three bones of the elbow, the humerus of the upper arm, and the radius and the ulna of the forearm. Bone Fractures A fracture is a break in the continuity of a bone. 
fractures range from small partial cracks to complete breaks and can occur in any bone. Physical trauma, overuse, and conditions such as osteoporosis are the most common causes of fractures. The bone's trauma caused by compression, tension, torsion, shear forces and crushing will result in different types of bone fractures. Additionally, a person's bones typically become weaker through late adulthood. Cartilage What is cartilage? Cartilage is a strong and flexible connective tissue that protects your joints and bones. It acts as a shock absorber throughout your body. Cartilage, at the end of your bones, reduces friction and prevents them from rubbing together when you use your joints. Ligaments Ligaments are fibrous connective tissue that attach bone to bone and usually serves to hold structures together and keep them stable. It participates to the stability of an articulation. Ligaments are similar to tendons and fasciae as they are all made of connective tissue. The differences among them are in the connections that they make. Ligaments connect one bone to another bone, tendons connect muscle to bone, and fasciae connect muscles to other muscles. These are all found in the skeletal system of the human body. Muscles Skeletal muscles, commonly referred to as muscles, are organs of the vertebrate muscular system and typically are attached by tendons to bones of a skeleton. The muscles provide movement strength and control. You have more than 600 muscles in your body. Some muscles help you move, lift or sit still. Others help you digest food, breathe or see. Muscles move body parts by contracting and then relaxing. Muscles can pull bones, but they can't push them back to the original position. So they work in pairs of flexors and extensors. The flexor contracts to bend a limb at a joint. Then, when the movement is completed, the flexor relaxes and the extensor contracts to extend or straighten the limb at the same joint. Always warm up before commencing work. Warming up increases your heart rate and therefore your blood flow. This enables more oxygen to reach your muscles. A warm-up also activates and primes the connections between your nerve and muscles, which improves the efficiency of movement. Spine The vertebral column, also known as the backbone or spine, is part of the axial skeleton. The vertebral column is a segmented series of bone called vertebrae, and separated by intervertebral discs. Individual vertebrae are named according to their region and position. The vertebral column houses the spinal canal, a cavity that encloses and protects the spinal cord. Your spine is made up of bones, vertebrae, stacked on top of each other, with jelly-filled discs that act as cushions between your vertebrae. A series of nerves extend through the length of your spine in a space known as the central canal. Muscles and ligaments support your spine and hold it in place. Your spine is designed to handle pressure and movement. However, when you're overweight or carrying heavy load, excess pressure can strain the various parts of your spine, resulting in pain that can range from uncomfortable to debilitating. A slipped disc is when a soft cushion of tissue between the bones in your spine pushes out. It's painful if it presses on nerves. It usually gets better slowly with rest, gentle exercise, and painkillers. Any type of physical work that puts unnatural pressure on the spine can result in a slipped disc injury. Lifting heavy objects and persistent vibration are among the most common causes of slipped disc injuries in the workplace. Nerves Nerves are like cables that carry electrical impulses between your brain and the rest of your body. These impulses help you feel sensations and move your muscles. They also maintain certain autonomic functions like breathing, sweating, or digesting food. Nerve cells are also called neurons. There are two types of nerves. Sensory nerves, they allow sensation, and motor nerves, they allow movement. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video presentation, Module 2 body protection techniques. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel 
in order to help us produce more content like this one.